Sure. We better book in a day. My name is Anna Eckley and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm really excited that you're here. If you're new here, my goal through my YouTube channel is just that you leave this place, whether it's this video or multiple videos, uh, that you leave this place maybe feeling a little bit more joyful and a little bit lighter in your heart and a little bit more connected to God. I'm so glad you're here. I'm really excited for today's video because I'm doing a read a book in a day. I have read books in a day, but never on purpose. Like it's usually just as like, I can't put them down. And the last time that that happened was in March with Good Girl's Guide to Murder, I believe. Uh, it was just like a super quick and a super easy read and I just flew through it. But today I had two options for books to read in a day. The first option was Wrong Place, Wrong Time. Second option was The House Made. And I let Instagram decide. They're both like around 350 pages and I'm pretty sure I'll fly through them both. According to Instagram, the winner that I should read a book in a day is the housemate. I've heard really good things. It was on my 15 books to read this summer. I had really good reviews on Goodreads. It is 325 pages in this book, in this copy. So if we say it's like a minute a page, that is 325 minutes. That's five hours in 25 minutes. It's a Wednesday in June and I've taken a couple days off of work and I have five hours and 25 minutes to spare today and I'm really excited to read this book. We're gonna get coffee with a friend to start the day and then we are going to go to the pool and then hopefully get a car wash and then hopefully get a workout in at some point in time. But reading the book comes first. Without further ado, I have high, high, high expectations. I hope it doesn't disappoint. Let's get started on the day. I wanted to show my shirt. I'm on brand today. I'm wearing a bookworm pen. And then I also have a long live the bookshop t-shirt from Fabled Bookstore in Waco, Texas, because we love supporting local bookshops. So we are ready to read today. the housemaid all okay, right something that i really liked about the housemaid is that it leads you to think one thing but then it's gonna like completely flip and you're gonna be like what just happened i read it probably the fastest that i've read a book in quite a while it took me about a day to read there is a second one and i also highly recommend the second one it might be better than this one but yeah lots of twists lots of like whoa did that really happen and like trying to connect the pieces in your head to make it make sense yep really good So I was at the pool for two hours and I am flying through the book. I'm already on page 175, so I'm over halfway done. We're gonna go get a car wash and then we will get home and finish the book. So far, I like it. I'm like kind of intrigued. I feel like I've kind of been drug along 
at this point. Like obviously the owner of the house, the wife, Nina. Nina is the main character. She's obviously crazy, but I'm still waiting to see like what is like the point of the book. Like where is the climax gonna happen? Oh, I guess someone died. We learned that in the prologue, but like who died? So 175 pages in, we haven't learned about the death again or anything about it since the prologue. So since like over 170 pages ago. So curious to see when that pops back up. But yeah, overall Nina sounds crazy. Kind of what I'm thinking, I wonder if Nina is a different person than the original wife, like the original woman he married. Maybe there's someone else, third wife or something. I kind of get Verity vibes, like just with like the dad and someone being sick and a daughter. I guess, yeah, I kind of do get Verity vibes just like with the way it's written. Overall, it's still good. I'm very curious. Hopefully it kind of picks up. I kind of am in a slow spot, so hopefully it picks back up. But okay, to the car wash we go. back home picked up some hyper for some energy this is where we're at in the book so just over halfway and we're gonna sit outside not in the sun i got plenty of sun today we're gonna sit out on the back porch and just keep enjoying the beautiful day Hello, it is currently 4.45 and I have this much left. I am just entering part three and 50 pages left, like exactly I'm at 2.71. Nina not being crazy was definitely a twist and it took me like a long time reading her story, like if I actually believed her or not. Like I was like, I don't know, like it still doesn't add up but as she explained like why she hired Millie then I started to believe her and like it made more sense I did not see Andrew being the villain here the pulling the hair out was such a weird request I've never really read anything like, like such like a tedious but also painful like I don't know how painful it is to pull hair out yeah that's kind of painful a piece of hair out. That's kind of painful to do that a hundred times and then also to get the root. Like that's a tedious request and to even like think like oh, I'm gonna have someone pull their hair out. That's kind of twisted, kind of messed up. I'm excited to see these last 50 pages. So Millie is stuck in the closet and it's returning back to her. Uh, Andrew like locked her in there. Oh, domestic abuse is like really serious. So it's just crazy. Like although this seems like so far-fetched, it's also like domestic abuse is just so serious. So sometimes that is kind of hard to read. Here comes Homer. Hi, bud. Hey, Homer, you wanna come up here? He's gonna make himself at home. He found a bone. Last 50 pages. I don't know what's gonna happen. I feel like Enzo's going to save Millie and Andrew is not going to die but he's gonna get hurt and end up in prison. I don't know yeah it's kind of weird because it talks about just two very real things like mental health disorders as well as domestic abuse are very real and I feel like they also can go hand in hand like domestic abuse can lead to mental disorders or mental disorders can lead to domestic abuse. So it's just a really serious conversation to have. It definitely is tough to read about sometimes when you keep it in perspective like that this could easily just truly be happening out in the world okay so the last 50 pages hi homer <laughs> we're gonna start down here i'm sitting over a vent to cool off because it's hot outside okay last 50 pages <laughs> finished it. I think I finished it at 520 and then I got up and like got water and stuff. Homer, we made a book in a day. You got lots of cuddling time today. Okay, Housemaid by Frida McFadden. We finished it. I did not see the ending coming, but also it makes total sense. I literally cringed when she was like, pull out your teeth. Like I was like, oh, 
don't do that. It was good. It was easy to read in a day. I did not feel like that drug on or anything. It was like actually super easy and kept me very interested. It probably took me just about five hours, probably just under five hours. So it was really quick, very quick read. It is a really good book. It's a really good psychological thriller. I don't know if I can give it five stars. I think I would give it like four and a half out of five. I just, I don't know what it's missing. Well, I guess maybe it could be five stars. I think that when it was revealed that his mom, similar things to him growing up uh, at the end, like the very, in the epilogue, I think that that makes a ton of sense. Cause I was kind of wondering like, where did he get these habits from when it started to turn on him? It was like he had to have gotten them from somewhere. But just also the fact that his parents like didn't feel that much room his mom didn't feel that much remorse for him passing. It's just crazy. I think the craziest thing about this book is just that like, I don't know, I'm really gullible. So like this could happen in real life. Sometimes it's really hard for me to read books and be like, oh, this is fiction because this very much could have happened in real life or like someone could get an idea from this book and make it happen in their life. I think right now I'm gonna give it 4.5 out of 5 stars, which is really good. That means I would recommend it. On Goodreads, I'll probably give it 4 out of 5 stars, just because you can't do halves. But I will recommend it to people. Maybe it just like felt a little bit too like distant. Maybe I wish there was like kind of more emotions involved. I feel like she fell in love really fast. Like after one date going to Manhattan. I don't know, I feel like she fell in love really fast. So to me, that kind of made it feel distant emotionally. Like I wasn't totally in love with that relationship and how it formed. Whereas like, I wish I would have fallen in love with the relationship and then it would have been like, oh, how could he do this to her? But overall, really good. There is a second book. I am not gonna read it right away. I'm sure I will read it eventually. And it sets it up really well. Per like it sets it up perfectly. That kind of makes me think that the second book is probably going to be pretty hard to read. Like maybe like pretty like, <gasps> cringy like i'm not really good with physical pain or like blood and guts and stuff so i feel like the second book will probably be hard for me to read because it's like already setting it up that it would be that way overall thanks for joining me and reading a book in a day if you want to read a book in a day and like challenge yourself this is a good one you'll be able to do it no problem okay so i put all my books up on my top shelf that i've read hopefully by the end of the year my top shelf will be completely full so let's put my book up on the top shelf because it is done. Okay, so I've read all of these so far just this year and now I need to make room. It's going to right behind this guy, like in there. All right, you can't see it, but it is right here. Thanks for watching. If you've read The Housemaid, let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you liked it. And also if there's any other books that you would recommend, just drop them in the comments below. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up. And as always, happy reading. And I will see you in the next video.